Alright, this is a video I'm making for the folks at Thrifting with the Boys on how to identify glass microwave trays or glass microwave plates that you thrift but you don't have the model of the microwave oven that it came from available. This is my fourth time trying to make this video. I'm trying to shorten it. What happened is this first tray I picked up today, never had one before, and so the first couple of videos I walked you through step by step how to go, go about identifying this tray. Those videos ended up being 10 minutes long, 12 minutes long, 8 minutes long, so I'm going to try to shorten it up a little bit. All right, I've got three trays here. Um, this one over here is a fairly typical tray. You'll notice it's got three little feet underneath it. It's got a little coupling in the center that's got three connectors on it. Um, you'll notice it's got a clear section here underneath is where the where it sits on the wheels on the turntable. Uh, this plate over here is similar except it doesn't have the three feet and it's a different, a little bit larger plate overall. This plate has got a really unique coupling in the center and instead of having three feet spread around the middle of the plate it's got six feet around the outside edge of the plate. Okay, so between having six feet and that unique coupling, it should be a pretty easy plate to identify. And as it turned out when I was making the first couple versions, or the first version of this video, it turned out to be much easier to identify than I had even anticipated. But, a couple measurements you need to take and write down and put in your listing. Okay, the first is the outside overall di diameter of the plate. I measured an eighth of an inch. Um, in this particular case, I got 12 and 5 eighths inches. The sites that I went to list this plate as a 12 and a half, but my listing is going to have 12 and 5 eighths, uh, just to cover my backside. Also, this clear area where the where the track goes, you want to measure an inside to inside measurement and an outside to outside measurement. And that way, with both of those measurements, your potential customer can look in his own microwave and make sure that the wheels are going to fit in that track. All right. Um, and that's particularly important, um, mainly the outside diameter measurement, because some plates like this one have got a, uh, a lip around the outside, right at the outside edge of that turntable. So if, it's, if their ring, turntable ring is too wide, it's not going to work with that plate. All right. So um, Greg Purdy had mentioned that he goes to repairclinic.com. Um, I use that site, and I also go to microwaveglasstrays.com and appliancedepot.com. All of those sites have got hundreds of trays with pictures that you can browse through and help identify your, um, your particular tray. I tend to start at microwaveglasstrays.com, try to come up with a model number there, then I plug the model number into Google, and from the search results, I look for pages at appliancedepot and repairclinic.com, visit those pages, and verify the information that I have and make sure it's right. All right, so on this particular tray, uh, it's 12 and 5 eighths inches overall. The track has got an inside diameter of 9 and a quarter inches, and it's got an outside diameter of 11 inches. Um, I'm going to be looking for an odd-shaped coupling and... Uh, six feet spread around the outside edge of the, f of the plate. Alright, so I go to turn the light away here um, I go to microwaveglasstrays.com uh, Generally what I'll do is I'll just start at the top of the list pick a manufacturer and scroll through looking for um, anything unique about my tray. If it's a generic looking tray, uh, like like that one, then the first thing that I'm probably going to be staring at as I scroll through is I'm going to be looking at this overall diameter of the tray and looking for one that matches. And I'll start there, find all the trays that are you know 12 and 5 eighths inches or whatever it is, um, and then narrow it down once I have an idea of what I'm looking at. All right, in this particular uh, case of this tray that I got earlier today, as it turns out, uh, the very first one that I went to, Amanda Maytag, I'm scrolling through. These have no feet in the middle at all. Um, 
these are pretty standard looking okay but then I get to the very bottom and the very last tray on there looks an awful lot like my tray it's got that odd coupling in the middle and it's got six feet around the perimeter of the tray now they mark it as 12 and a half but that's only an eighth of an inch difference from what I measured so that's something that I uh, figured okay let's take a closer look uh, when I open this up you'll notice down here it says that the turntable track the outside diameter is 11 inches which matches what I measured so I'm pretty sure this is the tray that I've got so what I did is I wrote down that model number 58001156 plugged it into Google um, double checked my information at Appliance Depot and Repair Clinic um, and everything pretty much jives so I'm pretty sure that this tray that I picked up um, is a Maytag or Whirlpool or Gen Air or Mana um, 5800 1156 and that's pretty much how I go about doing it one word of warning pay no attention to um, this stuff embossed on the plate okay um, I've noticed that while the same plate may have one of these numbers that matches from plate to plate like in this the, all of the plates of this type that I found have got a 100 there this number over here is completely useless so I think it's manufacturing perhaps a manufacturing date or something or a lot number um, but as far as identifying the plate it's pretty useless once you have one it might help like if I come across another plate this this diameter that has a hundred my first thought is going to be it's going to be one of these same thing with this one this has got a 171 the standard warning and a 05 the 05 is useless the 171 is useless as it relates to the model number however um, I've got 62 of these plates and every one of them has got a 171 in the left position so in that regard it's significant this one's got an 11 on it and the standard warning so it was completely useless but in general measure as much as you can measure and make note of any identifying features and then research it the same way you would research anything else that you that you thrifted hope that helps